In the previous video, I spoke to you about Audace, Leale and Fiero in a detailer's point of view. However, this product is not born in the hands of a detailer. It's born by this man, Richard White, or as we call him here, Ricky. Ricardo, can you please tell me, for Audace, how did you find the balance between cutting and finishing on all those different surfaces or clay coats where we work on all day? So, Reggie, Audace is uh, our is the first step, the essential step of uh, uh, polishing. Um, Audace uh, is based uh, on the abrasive part, uh, abrasive compounds. That is, on, that is not a single uh, abrasive powder, but is a blend, a mixture obtained uh, with a thermical uh, treating of these uh, special powders. Uh, this abrasive is composed by silica and aluminium. aluminium uh, compounds, okay, so aluminum silicates uh, blend uh, treated uh, to um, purify it to obtain the high quality and a pure structure, crystalline structure, uh, to improve the, the physical properties of the minerals mm. and uh, obtain uh, during the polishing action uh, the best, the trick free and um, scratch free results on, your, on the surface. Audace has been engineered and designed. Uh, to uh, obtain the maximum level uh, on different kind, uh, variety of uh, clear coats. Of course, we can polish uh, severe clear coats with deep scratches or with uh, random scratches, and we can also work on soft uh, clear coat. So a wide range of applications. Wow, very impressive. That, that's uh, the concept behind the science of polish. Okay. For for me. I've been watching a lot of Breaking Bad and a lot of Narcos, and this looks like grade A, 100% pure Colombian cocaine, yeah, ladies and good. gentlemen. Uh, bamba, bamba. But what is it? What, what, have I, what have I here in my hand? Abrasives in general are composed by an abrasive pass, okay, like this one or like this one. Okay, different colors uh, means different purification process. Okay, I can obtain a neut color neutral, uh, so white powders very thin, very tight, and with the, a balanced distri size particles distributions. So choosing the right distributions, I can achieve uh, maximum high cutting rates on my polish, and of course to obtain uh, the maximum results uh, and the finishing on our surfaces. Uh, the second part of the polish is composed by lubricant components, of course, because you need the balance between cutting and lubrication, lubrification okay? Sure. So lubricants mixture is also very important to balance the cutting action. And third, the solvents. In our case, uh, uh, our polishes are VOC-free, so volatile organic compounds free. For the VOC-free. To improve the safety of the, of the end users. And of course, uh, uh, our solvents in this case is water, just water. So. So, that's it. <laughs> for anybody listening, water is a solvent too. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's important. Uh, this is, this, this um, powder, you see, is treat, has been treated thermically, as you told you before, and to improve the pure, the pure to, to achieve a pure structure of the crystalline minerals and obtain a porous structure that can soak the lubricant inside the particles, say, so the lubricant is not uh, divided inside the polish, but is uh, inside the particles, that is uh, a porous uh, powders, uh, so it can be released on the surface during the polishing action. So they so are like combined can uses. Uh, combine, combine the, the characteristic of, of, of that. Can shape. you tell me a little bit about the cold cut technology? Yeah. So Raji, to achieve the cold cut technology, we engineered and designed a special powder only for us, increasing the temperature of the treatment. This, this powder, this main ingredient, already has been pre-treated with such sophistication and heat yeah. that the heat normally necessary on the surface of the paint to be created, to create the cut, has all been pre-done in this powder. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this powder has been engineered only for us. We increased the, the temperature of the treatment up to 1,500 degrees instead of 1,200, 200, 100 uh, that usually has been treated. Yeah. So in order to increase the purification, so the to improve the, the structure of our uh, minerals uh, and improve, of course, the final uh, performances with the, a better dissipation of the heat. So uh, this is this means cold 
cut technology. So no dissipation, better dissipation of the heat or the so wow. temperature on the surface will be will remain under uh, 40 degrees, 35 degrees maximum. That's uh, what I mean. For before I started working here, for me it was just a couple of drops on a machine and going around. But right now, hearing the technology and the sophistication to create such a product is is. I, I need I need at least ten minutes to take in all the information because this is this is amazing. This is the, the science behind behind polish and it's also very expensive. <laughs> very good quality over quantity, ladies and gentlemen, always. So I've been working with this product and I see that there is almost no dust. Yeah, How yeah, is this possible? Free, dust free polish, abrasive. Uh, How? Agent. Please. Uh, yeah, so the dust uh, has been micronized uh, and uh, during the, your polishing action, your job, um, it has been micronized until uh, 0 0.2 microns, so 200 nanometer. So from, uh, for example, uh, 4 or 5 microns to less than 1 micron. So where is this dust? This dust is attracted by our pad, so we choose this technology, a sort of uh, magnetic attraction. So the pad has not uh, saturated by the dust, mm -hmm. but the, the dust remains on the surface, so you can clean it in an easy, easy way, so with uh, your air sprayer and so on. You remove it uh, quickly and start again uh, to, to polish uh, the surface. So your performances in this way remains uniform uniform performances and constant awesome. and during uh, the polishing action that's so remember everybody clean in between very important so kicking around the last 20 years i remember using compounds where i was covering the car completely with dust i remember the compounds that sucked in so much product that the saturation of the pad was diminishing the performance of the compound yeah, of which approach did we take when we use Adachi? You know, basically, we can choose between three ways to avoid dust saturation on pads. The first one is dust releasing, so the dust goes everywhere, so you, can, you, and you have to use a mask, of course. And the second one, what we choose is the a sort of magnetic attraction, so the dust has been attract, is attracted uh, on the surface of the pad, so you can clean it in an easy way. And the third uh, way uh, choose uh, is the uh, saturation, dust saturation of the pad. So, as you as you told me, told me um, the dust and the lubricants saturate uh, all, all the pads. So, with decreasing of the performances, uh, and you 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 lose uh, your your real concept of the polishing action. So, we choose uh, the magnetic attraction uh, um, concept in our technology. Easy. So. To, to, because of the magnetic attraction, it becomes very yeah, easy to clean. Uh, stands, uh, the powder stands on the surface, not inside the pores okay. of the pad. So you can clean it with air blower. Uh, I like air what I use for the rotor jet, yeah, just to blow out. And very important. They are talking here with Ricardo, we already know there is, should be no dust creation by the use of these products. The dust, because of the magnetic adherence, will go to the pad. So when you create dust, Make sure that you are using a clean, fresh pad and clean minimally between two passes or two times. I suggest every time to clean in between to keep maximum performance. So to summarize, the technology behind these products, behind Audacia, cold cut technology with the preheating far beyond what we already know in the preheating sequence, getting lubrication adherence to the powder, a magnetic dust absorption in the pad, cold cut technology, I mean, wow, and this all in one compound. Thank you guys. Yeah, I mean, Richard, freaking awesome. <laughs>